Hi guys. Welcome back. As you can see, I'm definitely not alone this time. I have friends. Really? Where? Want to introduce yourself? Who? Yeah, my family. No, I'm not. Maybe. <laughs> oh, oh, <no. laughs> this we have Abigail too. We do. I've made a rare appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're just going to be <coughs> expanding off of yesterday's video which i wasn't able to put much effort into as i was completely exhausted and it's about the new lockdown and how quickly it was announced so we're just gonna rant yeah and i feel like me and roxanne probably have a very differing opinion about it because of uni and how Mm. Uh, I feel like it was one of those things when we we've we we've been brought brought back from uni yeah. to have like I know family time. Obviously, we're with our families, so we are getting family time. But I mean, like it was meant to be like, oh, you get to see your outer family as well, and we've kind of just been cut off from that. So yep. I know I think it was a lot of like promises that were made. It's a bit it's a bit annoying. But obviously, that yeah. that also that, that kind of comes into thinking of all the governments put together. Mm. Yeah. And because uh, obviously, if we want to rant about how we've just been put into lockdown, that kind of isn't Mike Drakeford's fault because he runs Wales. But then, generally, I feel like he only did what he did was because um, you know how Boris did his announcement of putting um, the South East into Tier Four. I feel like that kind of forced um, Mike Drakeford and um, is it Nicola Sturgeon in Scotland? Yes, yeah, Nicola Sturgeon. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that that kind of forced them to make a statement as well and say stuff because otherwise they'd be like, oh, they're not doing anything. So I like it kind of was a ripple effect, and obviously Wales has went the most extreme yeah. with it. Um, not that I'm saying it's a bad thing. I understand why they've went into lockdown. Like they have got this new strain, which is quite bad. Like I, do. but um, I don't know. For someone who works in like a sector that um, that is focused on the food. Um, Let's just say a lot of people aren't staying at home. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just say that. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, like, I'll say like a town is was like much quieter than before we were in the lockdown. Like, I'm not going to deny that. But like, yeah. it kind it kind of surprised me the amount of people who I was, not like workers, but you know what I mean, like people who came into came to get food. Which fair enough, like you 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 can do that. But I just thought it was, it was quite surprising. Yeah. yeah. What I've heard about this new strain is that. It's more transmittable, but it's less deadly than the original. Yeah, I think they said um, it's more transmittable. I don't know if they're going to increase, um, you know, the two meters. Uh, I don't know if they're going to have to increase the distance if it's more. But they haven't said how it's more tran more transmittable. Yeah. Like, th like exactly. they haven't said how. Like, um, so I don't get what they yeah. mean by it. I, I don't. I don't know if they mean like it's just popped up more, which doesn't necessarily mean it's more transmittable. It just means it's just occurred more. Like I think they yeah. went like probably more research into it and stuff, and um, yeah. I, I know they did say it, it started in Kent from what I heard, like the yeah. new strain, um, and then obviously it's made its way up, and uh, I, I think it's made its way into like South South Wales, and it's making its way up slowly. So it has made heard. its way into North. It has made its way into North. Apparently, I've heard. Oh god! So, 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 to be fair with Wales, like Wales is like I know Wales is quite big because it's like six hours yeah, to get yeah. from the north, north to the south, but still stuff can stuff can transmit, can't it? I mean, this just you think about, think about all, yeah. Because think about all the uni students who came home. Like, if one person oh. from the south had it and they came back up, obviously they wouldn't mean yeah. to, but if they had it. Like, it just it you know because the amount of people I know who who I know who went to like C C Cardiff Uni. Like I know at least five people who went to Cardiff Uni, and let's just say like if one of them had it, then it just it sort of might be bringing it up, isn't it? So I think it's mm. it's one of them yeah. things. Like I'm not saying they they should, should have kept us in uni for the holidays, but you've got to think of those things are going to happen, aren't they? Yeah. But I guess, but I guess and then then they 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 did do the tests before we came back, so you can't really, really complain. Mm, no. I mean, they did those tests, but those tests ended up becoming a quicker result than like the normal ones, because you've explained that you've had to do a test just to make sure that you're okay to work still. And uh, it yeah, I did. a long time, while the uni ones took like half an hour to get back. 
Yeah, yeah. I think um, I, I, don't 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 quote me on this. I'm not like a medical expert, but um, I think the ones from our uh, the ones we did with unis our unis aren't as accurate. Like they, they are accurate saying you don't have it, but I feel like, um, you know the ones that you do with the actual government, or the NHS, yeah, the ones that yeah. you have to sign up for, um, I think they, they're they used to, like, you know how they, they've been able to tell there is a new strain? Um, yeah. They're more in-depth tests and able to tell you what's... They, they're, they're able to look at the virus in depth, like, under a microscope, and, like, look at it. But the test we did in uni is just to see if you have a virus or not. Like they, like, they can't tell what strain it is. They can't tell, like, how severe it is. It's just a bog-standard yeah. one. They won't tell them any information. So that's why it didn't take as long, which I feel like when when, when they do it, when they when I, when I when I did my test when I went back to work, they're more in depth and mm. like I like I don't I don't know if they tell you any of the information. Like I I don't know. Like obviously people have been diagnosed with this new strain. I don't know if they told them, being like, oh, you have a new strain of coronavirus, you need to isolate more strictly. Because obviously, like some people have had coronavirus and they just don't isolate, do they? So it's a bit of a that's true. Yeah. Like it just doesn't happen, but. Well, so there's only so many ways that um, the, the the government can um, police that. Mm, exactly. Yeah. Just but... It's just confusing though because with some, I'm not trying to be political. It's just like the leaders of everywhere here now in the UK. It's the fact mm. that especially especially I've noticed with Wales and England because we've had Abigail, you and I have had to live under two separate rules. At, one point yeah we are yeah so but the thing is both of them are being very confusing it's like yeah you can go out no you can't this can be open this can be closed it's like what do you want from us because if you're not telling us right now what is supposed to be open what's supposed to be closed there are certain sectors Mm -hmm. that they feel could be open but they're not while there are some that are open that could be closed and it just gets confusing yeah i think the problem the problem is when when we when we were coming home and we were going off to uni both where like at home and where we were going to uni had different rules mm. and that really confused me it was kind of a shock to the system because i went from being at home being able to do whatever i wanted not necessarily like i wouldn't go out and do like you know what i mean but like i was able to see people i wanted yeah. to see and stuff yeah but um, when i went to uni having no one i knew being left to myself and like i can't get any help with anything like, like oh like obviously like your family's a phone call away but it's not the same thing mm. like, like, like 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 let's say my, let's say like my mum's phone's flat or something or like she just doesn't pick up the call like what am i supposed to do then it's a bit of a i don't think people understand how hard it was with all those at the start like getting used to it mm. especially like, you, like can't, you can't miss a conversation in person yeah and also it's a lot of them um, whenever you like even if you're on video call and people like you can still see people's facial expressions it's still not the same i don't think that's like it's just not the same thing i don't think people just don't understand that and um like like, oh, like obviously like we i'm used to it now i remember like <laughs> when i came home my parents were so excited but i'm so numb to it now i'm so numb to the fact that like mm. I haven't been around them. It's not that I'm like oh, I don't care about you anymore, but it's a bit of like you know when you just you're just used to it. You're just like, uh, yeah. I've yeah. lived on my own for like three months. Like not on my own. Also, I've had flatmates, but it's a bit of a eh, just is what it is. I think it's also been. Okay, I guess that, that that has helped us to be chill though. Yeah, I mean it's also been confusing with the fact that when we've been talking, we've been in two separate uh, uh, tiers as well. Because you've been in like yeah. tier three quite a lot, well, I've been tier two, so I've been able to go out and yeah. do more things because I've had less rating in where I've been living. Mm. Yeah, because I because I, I I was literally put in I was in tier two when I arrived, and then after a week of me arriving, we we were put in tier three, mm. and it was kind of like and from then and then it came to um. November, um, we were put in a month long lockdown, and then um, I know because I remember that when um, you know Wales was put in the firebreaker, you know, like all of us in England were like, "Ooh, you're in lockdown, we're not," and then a week later we were in lockdown for a month, yeah. and then then it was kind of just, um, and then after we came out of lockdown, like we ended up come, coming back home after like a week or two, and now we're being put back into lockdown again. Like I feel like it feels like for us, like we're just never out of lockdown. Like we're just constantly in it. And I think that's because because we're moving from place to place, and wherever we're moving, they're always in lockdown. 
it's kind of it's just it's just a bit rubbish. It's like we're trapped and That's we're not able to go out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But there's some politicalness. Not every country, not a single country is going to be on the same page. Or on my different party. I think that's the problem. I feel like, um, you know how you, um, I don't know if any you know about this, um, that there, 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 there was the Paris Agreement, which is about climate change. Like it was done a few years ago and all, all, like, I think nearly, I think like every country signed it, bar like three or four. Um, America yeah. has since withdrew from it because Donald Trump, but it's, but it's about, it's about climate change and how we're going to try and prevent it and um, stop using fossil fuels and stuff like that. And it was literally like every country signed it and they all have the same stance, but barring like five. And I feel like it, that, that's what should have happened with coronavirus. Like they should, all the countries should have came to come together in like a union and just decided yeah. on like a method for everyone to go to. Mm. And honestly, like, I, yeah. understand, I understand it'd be different for like third world countries and that they, um, they, 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 they can't do it the same way, obviously. They don't have as much money as us. Um, but obviously then I feel like other, then, then, then each country be able to help each other and share with like, because I remember at one point, you know, when um we had our track and trace was like so so bad, was not working. Like I, I'm sure it was like a South like a South Korea offered to help us. Like they offered to give us their their technology for it, which I was like, I just thought that was a massive embarrassment for us. Yeah. Like, like I, I like obviously like it's great to have other people's technology and like sharing it, but the fact that like our track and trace had been up for like three months, it still wasn't working. It was a bit of a yeah. Just, it just made us look really bad. Yeah. I also don't think it still works properly now, to be honest. It, it doesn't. No, I... Then again, we've also got Brexit it... as well, which is just making oh, stuff more awkward. I feel like the problem with them, you know, as soon as we got the va vaccine, um, suddenly now... Um, I'm not going to say this is only Boris, but obviously Boris is the speaker of the country, so he does represent us, obviously. But uh, as soon as the vaccine was announced, he was just like, oh, let's just move on to Brexit. And I feel like he didn't realise just because we have a vaccine, it doesn't mean this is over. Like, we've still got a long way to go. Yeah. Yeah, like, Boris, like, you know. And also, they don't have any guarantee how long, like, like the, the, the vaccine lasts. Like, it, it might not be... You know how, like, you have vaccines when you're younger and they last, like, the rest of your life? Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, there's no guarantee that, this, that these vaccines can do that, and I don't think they realise yeah. that. And it's a bit of a like, obviously, because my 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 major in university or degree or whatever I don't know what you call it is about science. Like, I've had like professionals talking to us about it like most of the time, mm. and like even 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 they said they think the government's not dealing with it that well. But I think that's because with mm. the government, they're not um, educated enough in like the science sector to know what's actually going on yeah i mean the amount of times they've flexed on different things it's just confusing yeah. yeah i also i also think when wales did 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 the two-week breaker like i just think they did their good intentions but i think where wales failed is um as soon as the two-week breaker was over there was like no restrictions obviously they were restrictions but like not tight restrictions you go back to where it was before yeah before. like 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 they were like it was only two weeks and like if you look at the map of like coronavirus yeah. cases wales wales has the worst like out of out of like like um england scotland wales like north Island. wales is so bad like they got like double of england and you think about how much smaller we are as well like it's kind of like we're only three million population yeah like so it like it makes us look really bad and i feel like that's why um mike drake has, has announced this lockdown and why he hasn't put an end date because yeah if he does, then it's just the same thing's going to happen as last time. Like he'll just keep the graph will just keep being like that all the time, like spikes yeah. constantly. But what I think he did wrong last night was announcing it was seven hours notice. Oh yeah, I, I, I agree. I think it was. Um, I think the problem was that um, you know how he said last time he gave like a few days warning. Yeah. And then I, I, I think the only issue from that with him him giving like a few days warning was obviously then people all rushed to the shops for the next few days. But the problem with him doing it this time with seven hours is then a higher quantity of people rushed to Tesco. Like, a higher quantity. Like, I, I didn't go to Tesco last night, but I, I know some it. people who did go and who said he said it was awful. Like, probably Tesco as to, like, all these shops that like, people rushed mm -hmm. to. 
Yeah. There, there was people who would get haircuts at 11 o'clock at night. Like, it really yeah. did, like, it, like, the way they did it last time, it kind of spread it out over a few days. But this yeah, actually crammed right. it into, like, a few hours, and I feel like it really did, like... I stayed home. Well, I stayed in my auntie's house because we were there when it got announced. So I stayed there. Yeah. My parents and auntie did go to Tesco. They said it wasn't too bad, actually, there. Didn't they? Yeah, they but, yeah. Quiet. <laughs> I, 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 I went there the other day to get food because I was hungry. <laughs> I mean, why but, um, Yeah. And, um, yeah. like, I, I'm someone who just doesn't like crowds in general. Like, I'm more like, like concerts because I know there's going to be a crowd and it's kind of like, yeah. you know how, like, like, you're, you're, like, you've mentally prepared yourself for it. You know what type of environment you get yourself into. But when it's yeah. like, I don't know, I just, it's just something about crowds in like shops and stuff. And, you know, and you're kind of like, and it was just like a weird atmosphere when just like there's tons of people in there. I just didn't like it. Like I, I got my food and left, <laughs> like paid and yeah. left. I did not stay in there long. And that's really because like it's like typical Christmas shopping, but it's kind of like it's worse because you don't want to be near people. Mm. And also like I think it's a thing when then like when some people don't wear masks, which obviously people are exempt from wearing masks, and that's fine. Mm. But it, I think like, it yeah. always does make you quite uncomfortable though. I mean, it's always kind of. I mean, yeah, I've got a friend in uni who can't wear a mask because she's got a lung condition. So, yeah. And she has had re- really awkward questions where it's like, you can't wear a mask, how come? She's got a badge for it. There have been people who have turned her away simply because she can't wear it. That is, that's, like, 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 I don't think people should be turned away for it, but I feel like it's one of them things if you're not wearing a mask, you should be more cautious of people. Mm. Because obviously, like you're not wearing one, I feel like people realize like there, there, there's like I think there's a chart where like there's like a zero percent risk of it being transmitted if two people are wearing a mask and you're two meters apart. Yeah. Then if one person isn't, I think it increases to one. Yeah. One percent. Yeah. Which is not that's not like a really high percent. There's still a percentage, but I feel like it's I think as long as you're aware someone next to you isn't wearing one, I think with me it's when like it comes out of nowhere, it just like throws me off. Mm. It's a bit of a like because you just expect expect people to. Yeah. It's, it's just become like a way of life, isn't it, really? Yeah. And I feel like the only bad thing with the announcements, though, was how they, they promised us five days for Christmas. Yeah, and then... Um, and the embarrassment was inhumane to give us any life. Yeah, I feel like... I know there's just, there was this thing in Parliament when Keir Starmer, the leader of the Labour Party, watch out, um, basically, um, he, 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 he said to Boris last on Wednesday... Um, Sunday now, guys, just for clarification. <laughs> um, okay. He was saying to Boris how he should he should um, t- t- tighten the rules and give us more warning. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, but, but, but Boris's response was that um, Keir Starmer was trying to ruin everyone's Christmas and we, we, we should all enjoy it. And he was like, Merry Christmas, everyone, it'll be fine. And then three days later, he announces the they're all getting tightened. But I feel like it would have been better if he would, he would have announced it earlier. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, give people yeah. more time to process it. But he's literally announced yeah. it, like, six days before Christmas. Like, it's not yeah, under, it's like... I know, because I, I was in work today, and, like, pe- 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 people were saying to me, like, they've had to cancel their plans. Like, mm. they've got nothing to do, and it's, it's a bit of a, like... I think it has, yeah. like, shaken a lot of people. Yeah. I was going to meet up with my D&D friend today. A friend who was hosted, he bought the food, came through his front door just as it was announced with the food. Oh, the that is so bad. Oh, yeah, he was furious. And frankly, it all worked. That would be awful. I was like, I remember when the lockdown was announced on the 28th, I, 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 I was going to meet up with some people on like the 22nd, go before like the lockdown mm. started, but now yeah, we had to cancel yeah. it. And it's a bit of a, like, obviously, it's, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not awful. Right, you know, Christ's sake. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's one that they, it's just it's just a bit like annoying. Like you understand why they're doing it. They're doing it to save people's lives. But then you you, you kind of think in the but you kind of think of in the context of why 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 weren't you trying to save lives like a few weeks ago? Yeah. When when, 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 when like yeah, it's because even if if you look at like the graphs, you could you could already see they were increasing. But they just ignored it, oh, yeah. and I feel like it's something like they shouldn't have done. Mm. No, but I thought just... three thousand cases of new cases yesterday. 
Yeah, it's really bad. I thought I think that's just thing because because of them them announcing it now, it just comes off as like not genuine. Yeah. Because like they've they've ignored it for weeks on end. Like it's obviously not yeah. genuine if you're only like now. speaking about it now. Yeah, and that's it's the only issue with it. Yeah. Like, but also I mean, like, yeah, it's just a bit um, like I'm not bat mad over it. Like it's a bit annoying mm. because it's kind of like you've come home for Christmas. Like obviously I'm seeing my family. That's nice, but I've come home to Christmas to just be staying in my room. Yeah, which my room, which is smaller than my one in uni. Like, oh no, <laughs> you're back in the box. I can't deal with it. I'm claustrophobic, big Darren. <laughs> <laughs> Just leave your brother. Oh, no. No, I don't want to go in there. It stinks. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just um, like I'm not that annoyed about it. Like when, when it was announced, I feel like I've I feel like most of us have become numb to it at this point. Pretty much. Like it, like it get it gets announced. Like you get a bit frustrated because you have to cancel plans. You got like mess people being like, "Are we still doing this? Like, am I still in work? Like, you got to organize stuff, and it'll take you like a few hours. But as soon as you've like organized everything, it's kind of just like, oh, this is what it is. Yeah. Oh, like I feel like that's that's the only issue. But small businesses. Oh yeah, I feel, like, even I feel like that's um like they keep saying how they're doing grants for small businesses, but um, I don't know. I feel like the worst thing the government did um was to eat out to help out thing, which I know everyone praises oh. it for ha- for helping the economy, but I'm like yeah. in the long run that contributed not, no, no, to no. making a spike. Also o- opening up um education sectors i understand they don't want to close education mm. sectors because they want to give people like ed- education but i feel like opening it up them like opening them up did cause spikes like you can see it from the graphs as soon as they all opened up like it's clear i know i feel like that that's like the issue um, but like also the out to help out like whenever i was in work it was a bit of a like i don't know it was just like it wasn't uncomfortable but it was like hectic and like it reminded me of how like my workplace was like before I before it was with them COVID. And I was kind of like like it wasn't my workplace fault. Like they they, they did they do all their procedures great and I'm like they're really good at like what, what they do. But you've got to realise like some some people just don't care. Like like some people just want to live their lives how they normally live them and they're just like not bothered. Yeah. I feel like the yeah, health thing just encouraged it. So they're like, we need to re. They're like, we need to rebuild, build the the economy. And I was like, why are we focusing on the economy more than people's lives? I'm like, we're already in debt as a country. Mm-hmm. Like, we're already in debt. We're going to be more in debt from Brexit. Like, like you know what I mean? I, I'm kind of like, no matter how much debt we have, it's not. It's never going to matter more than people's lives. Like, I like, I just don't get how they can't comp- like comprehend that. Like, I yeah, think that's, that's something yeah. that annoys me, to be honest. I have a couple of pet peeves that you just mentioned, yeah. which I'm just going to quickly run over. Yeah. Right. Schools. They said there's no other way to do it. Yes, there is. You did it for six months. Online learning. It's not hard. Yeah. And I have come up with a fa- favourite phrase to describe that last thing you just talked about. Good luck having an economy when everyone's either at home in bed, ill or dead. Don't yeah, the I feel like the also the problem the problem with um with in in my uni you have to wear a mask like wherever yeah. you are obviously un- unless you're exempt obviously but if of unless you're, if you're not exempt then you have to like as soon as you enter the building and um like obviously when you're outside and you're spread out then you don't have to but as soon as you're in a building you have to and um what about your accommodation um in my accommodation whenever we're in the corridors we do. Like whenever we're near people, but as soon as I'm with my flatmates, I don't because I'm proud of them. Yeah. But okay. from what I know, with them, um, high schools, colleges, and primary schools, and uh, like you just don't have to wear a mask like when you're in the classrooms. From yeah. from, 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 from from what I've been told from multiple sources, yeah. like like yeah. I'm not, not going to out people, but like <laughs> but like like it's it's literally like it's just not happening like. I like, like I know they're saying how kids can't catch it, but kids can be carriers, can't they? Yeah, they can. And, be. Um, exactly. 
so when they're saying kids don't have to wear masks, I'm like, they can still carry it though. And it's kind of like a thing of um, like there's 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 teachers aren't wearing masks. Like I just feel like that is the reason why it spread because they didn't make it like mandatory to wear masks in education sectors, which is why it's it's spreading so much. And um, they just haven't made like obviously people who are exempt for wearing masks, yeah, they don't have to. I'm fine with that. Yeah. But like ninety nine point nine percent of people are not exempt. No. So it's kind of like that's probably no exaggeration to be honest, probably like ninety five percent. But you know what I mean? Like majority of people yeah. aren't exempt. So like it's if if they would have done that, like mm. they would have been much slower, but they just won't do it and I don't get why. I it mean, just seems a bit stupid to me. Yeah. I mean with my uni it's the same rules as where you are at the moment, but with the slight difference yeah. of because of how they've put the layout of the tables now in our in our lecture rooms, we're able to take off our masks as long as we put them on as soon as we stand up and clean the tables down ourselves afterwards. But that's the only time we're able to take off our mask in a building if we're at a table or if we're somewhere mm. where it's just going to be spaced out, but everywhere else it's just mask on. Yeah, which I, I like, and I understand that, but I feel like that is the problem of like the education sector. They've just failed people, and mm. um, I feel like it's one of them things when they're like, "Oh, the the kids will be scared of people wearing a mask." I'm like, it's been part of our lives for like nearly a year now. I might like, I understand like some kids will will be scared of it, but they're gonna end up getting used to it. I'm like, yeah. and there's plenty of alternatives just... as well. Yeah, and it's one of them things like I know in in my uni the teachers wear visors, so so because you know how some people are deaf, so oh, they yeah. can lip read, so they'll wear visors, so people can lip read what 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 they're saying. Mm. Uh, like sometimes, like sometimes I can't even hear what they're saying across the lecture floor, so I'll, I'll be lip reading what they're saying. <laughs> so it's a bit of a, it's one of those things. It's um, I feel like they should have teachers wearing visors and like or at least a visor if they think um, because like. I thought maybe a mask would scare a kid, but a vice is just clear plastic. Yeah. Like yeah. it's not gonna do anything. But I feel like that's the thing, like like the, the like they don't want to invest in like the education sector like that, which is why it spiked so much and it continually will. Because you think about the amount of people who are in, go into education, who are in education every year. Mm-hmm. But I feel like I feel like yeah. the only re- the only reason that um unis have been so strict on it is because they're not run by the government they're run independently and they make up their own rules pretty much yeah. well uh, obviously high, high schools are run also i know high schools are run by the government but then like the headmaster will make decisions but but yeah. like obviously when you're a headmaster you have to like b- b- budget stuff don't you hmm. you have to create your school yeah. budget for each like the math sector the science sector sector all that lot and like, if they're not given enough money to invest into like PPE and stuff like that, because obviously you have so, 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 like you have some children who are probably from less less fortunate families might not be able to afford to buy a mask, yeah. which then obviously they, they would have to provide them to the children. But if they don't have that in their budget, they're not going to be able to do it, are they? And I feel like, yeah. like obviously the government has not invested any, any money into it. Which I thought that's something they need to invest money into. Like I reckon if they did that, like the cases would go would go down so much, but they just won't do it. I also thought it was a bit stupid how um, I don't know if it's only in Wales, but you know how they put the last week of education before Christmas was online. Mm. Like like only the last week. I was like, that's not going to make an ounce of difference. You put one week. I was like, hardly anyone turns up to the last week anyway. Your audio cut out. Your audio cut out for a second. What was it you said? Uh, you know how the last week of term, um, they made all um, like primary schools and high schools go online. And um, yeah, and college as well. Yeah, I just didn't see the point of it because like hardly anyone turns up to the last week anyway. You don't really do any work. Like it, yeah. it kind of just felt like a cop out to me. I was like, what, what was the point of that? Mm. Yeah. Like it just didn't see. I like, I, I just didn't see the point of it. No, I get you. That's what I think. It's just um, I feel like uh, that. They're not planning ahead. They're just doing stuff on the spot, which oh, um, yeah. absolutely. I thought the only thing they really did right was when they they put us into lockdown in March. Even though they ended up doing that that too late, they should have done way before that. Like February. 
Yeah, like even I say that, and then I, I, I had my birthday party in like the end of January. I'd have been fine. Ago. I would have been fine missing out on my birthday. Like I, I wouldn't have minded. Mm. Like I would have got my good old tattoo. <laughs> 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 but you, like you know what I mean? Like it's kind of like them things that you just think about. You're like, would that really be more important than people's lives? It's like, no, it wouldn't have been. Like, no. you, you gotta, you I gotta like think you. about it. Yeah. This might have been over sooner if I did that. Yeah, and I feel like it's one of those things. Like I feel like they, they, they the, obviously we we say the government as in it's just Boris, but on conservatives. But obviously, you still think there are there are other parties in there who will will agree with them. Obviously, it's the it is the the, the majority vote. I, I'm not too into politics. I don't look at what or what they vote on for everything, so I don't really know who 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 voted to do the eat out to help out. I don't know who did that. Like I don't know. Which I don't know if it's more conservative or more Labour, more Lib Dem, but obviously it is the government who has decided on these things as a whole, and um, yeah. I don't think that 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 is the issue. But like all the steps they've made along the way have just been like mm. lapses in judgment, and they've they've got they've gotten worse over time. And I think it, the ironic thing is when Boris was like everything will be back to normal by Christmas, and um, mm. it's just not, is it? And um, yeah, and I'll say I, I real I realize it's not the, it's not a massive deal, but it is kind of um, it, it it's it's kind of like um someone offering you like a really great gift and then snatching it away the last minute when you you become really look, look looking forward to it a lot and um it it doesn't um, suck I guess. Yeah, but I'll admit there is one comparison I've seen of the events the last couple of days, mm -hmm. which is actually terrifyingly accurate, which I talked to Roxanne about earlier on. Mm. Remember what I was talking about, Roxanne? Yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah, I, I assume you've heard of this book, Abigail, 1984, George Orwell? Yes. The best dystopian around. You know what I'm talking about, then. Yes. And I've seen some comparisons and I thought, okay, that's accurate for my liking thank you very much <laughs> like, yeah I've, I've seen some comparisons to the film contagion which is about um a, a, a pandemic but i feel like the yeah. issue is um whenever i like there's there's a film that the maze run of the death cure and there's like a pandemic going on and they they do this thing of like the streets in it and only half the people are wearing masks oh when i when I, 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 I watched it before the, the like coronavirus was a thing and um I was like, why aren't all the people wearing masks? This is an inaccurate film. That film's accurate, boys. <laughs> it is accurate yeah. because I've seen people in the streets and half of them don't wear masks. So that film is accurate. Oh, God. I, thought it's kind of, I, I, I feel like this pandemic has taught us a lot about human nature and it has taught us a lot about um, how pe people act, I guess. Human part. Like, I'm, like, I'm, not, I'm, like I'm, I'm not gonna call someone dumb because they're not, they're not wearing a mask. But I feel like it's one of those things. Um, like obviously, if you're exempt, you're not dumb because you're not wearing a mask. But um, yeah. it's one of those things. And obviously, the more people that don't wear a mask, the uh, worse it's going to get. Time. Yeah. So I feel like that's that's like the issue there. Yeah. Other than that, I feel like the whole situation was just just like it shocked me in a way, but then it didn't. Yeah. Too long, didn't read. The situation is just bad. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be hard for us to get our lives back to normal, though. Mm. Yeah, like before we recorded this, Zach commented on yesterday's video. Um, mm. There was literally zero positive ways to look at this, and I thought, yeah, he is yeah. 100% right. I was like, mainly like, whenever anyone, like, people will mention the situation to me in work, and I was just like, this is what it is. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not going to get stressed about it. Like, yeah. like obviously it sucks, and, um, like, people are upset. Um, there was this thing on the news, um, there, there was this, there was this woman, I can't remember her name, but um, she was saying how she had terminal cancer, and this, this would have been, this is going to be her last Christmas with um, her family. And I thought, that that like that like when I watched that like I thought that's that like that like said a lot because um 
it was like them giving her like false hope and like she's gonna see her family and then it was ripped away and i feel like we don't yeah, think about it like that because for us it's kind of like oh like we'll have next christmas or like we, 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 we can celebrate christmas when like the lockdown's over but for people no, who do have like mm. like when people who have terminal illnesses like it's kind of them um, you, you know what i mean it's like no. i feel like you like you, you kind of if you don't realize it in a way no i feel like that like like when when I, when I watched it, it kind of made me like take take a step back a bit and kind of think like this is this is this is this is actually worse than like you actually think. Yeah, I, I can't, kind of kind of kind of made me step back and be like, it doesn't impact me that much, but it does impact a lot of other people who have like worse situations, and it kind of made me feel like, oh yeah. And I thought like that's that's when it did make me a bit more like angry when I was kind of like, yeah, like it it is annoying. Yeah, I, mm. I understand that on more of a personal level because, as you know, the situation at the moment, back up, back with mine. When I go out, I yeah. have to be very careful as to what I do Yeah, because I don't want to risk my family member getting infected or anything because if she if he or she gets that, then it, it's go over because nothing can be mm. sorted with that. And it's the fact that you don't know if you've got it and it's just the panic of, if you have to go out to get something yeah and there are people there just not being like responsible it freaks you out you yeah. know because you don't know yeah. if they come into contact with you if they've got it if they haven't it's like the anxiety around it and then coming home to make sure that you don't have it so then you don't yeah. have that risk it does get a bit yeah. frightening you know yeah I feel like the government just haven't. Um, I feel like the problem with them, um, po- politicians. Um, obviously, they earn a significant amount of money. Obviously, Boris has asked for a pay rise to pay for all of his kids. What a guy! Um, <laughs> um, because they do earn a lot of money. Um, as I say, money does get to people's heads, and I don't think they realise mm. what Not like. Badly. What, what what the what the general population is going through like like i'm not talking just in the span of money but if you do have money you do have um more of a privilege in um in a way of like obviously we all we all have the nhs but the nhs is getting swapped right now like it's oh. it's awful um so i feel like because they have all this money and that they're, they're, they're just focusing on doing their jobs they're not really they don't they don't think they take a step back and think really yeah. I think that's, no, that's, that's, that's that's the issue. I feel like um I am there's I think this is it's the, the M, MP for Coventry. Um, I follow her on Facebook and she she's actually re- really good. And she was talking about like the impacts that it has and on like certain areas like the lockdown and stuff. And um, I feel like that's the thing because um when they announce a lockdown for everywhere, then like you know when they'll like change the tiers, you will always have them. Um, each MP from each area will try and appeal it and will obviously they're they're, they're going to write a letter talking from the community's point of view about how it will impact them yeah. and obviously they're, they're going to talk about like d- d- different sectors like if we were talking about Wrexham that we, we would probably mention how like did we have like things in like mining and stuff like that like different areas like you get I mean, like, like like different places are going to mention different things that are like special to them in a way to try and mention how they are unique and how they deserve to have like a voice and i feel like whenever that gets to the government they just don't care <laughs> like whenever they see that yeah, they're just like yeah. yeah i feel like like they, they, they like it, because it's because it's so saturated with all the amount of mps like let's be honest like they, they can't like, listen to everyone can they like it's just not possible you think about like the amount of seats that they have in like is it like three hundred and something, like four hundred seats in the house? Yeah. Like let's, let's yeah. be honest. Like then they're not yeah. going to listen yeah. to everyone as intensively, are they? Like they're just going to no. blur people no. out, and I feel like that is the issue. And um, I feel like that that's the problem. Like obviously everyone says to have their own voice, but um, like if they sit every MP in the place for a day and they make them all speak about. The different areas and how the lockdown will impact them they're gonna end up droning off and just not caring after probably like 10 and we'll just be like hey, whatever. yeah yeah i feel like yeah. that is the issue i also feel like with the problems with mps they were more focusing on london 
which I understand London does bring in a lot of money and economy, quite a lot. But I think it's, it's not, kind of but it's not the whole UK. from Pete from as we are all northern for um yeah. we can say there is a there is a bias in the government for them preferring the south to the north and i think uh, it is um like yeah. like i feel like this has shown it a lot and also i know like i feel like the issue was when when you had london had higher cases than in the north yeah and then and then they decided to put the north in like all tier three and then london in tier two i just think like it it, it just it, it sh showed a lot i thought no i I get that because again, I was in a uni that was in the south. Wales. Yeah, which like like um, in uni, what one of my flatmates is from the south. I'm like, I feel like that's the thing. It's not actually like southern people. It's not southern like southern people don't hate us. Like it's not that. And I feel like that's what it's become. Mm -hmm. It's become it's become this thing because we because we are treated differently. We we've 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 got this interpretation that like we 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 should hate the south because like they're treated better than us or whatever but it's not actually that because like it's i know I, I feel like it's one of them things it's it's it's, it's 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 created like kind of a feud in a way that doesn't really need to be there which is like kind of bad because it's, it's kind of like like i've met like in uni you meet people from like tons of different places it's like i've never met anyone who's like not that anyone would treat me different because I am from Wales, but you didn't like oh because I'm northern. But you, you get what I mean. It's kind of like yeah. you, you you get try and get that interpretation from a while. Okay. Like I'm not I'm not like I'm from the north. I'm oppressed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm oppressed because I'm northern and I sound a bit stupid. But um... also stays in the north. <laughs> I literally stayed in the north because I was like, I don't want to get bullied in the south. <laughs> Funnily, enough, the reason. Funnily enough, the south is actually quite nice. You just wow. end up getting a lot of really weird comments. Yeah, the amount of people who told me, you don't sound Welsh, and oh, I was like, good. I've got that. I've got that good. so much. Good. I was like, good, mate, good. But yeah, I just feel like um, the south has been favoured throughout lockdown, and it really showed when London had more... Um, mm cases which is obviously going to happen because london is like the capital city it is going to have more cases it's got a higher population but then boris was all like nah 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 and i'm like boris that's only because you live there <laughs> it's because you live yeah, there and you want to have a pint right, it was yeah. also that thing they, they, they had all the pubs that were closing at like 10 and 10 p.m yep. <laughs> and then they had the one that's government that's one that was open government. after 10 p.m <laughs> Yeah. Just so Boris could have a drink after 10 p.m. Oh, you know, double standards. They've got them. <laughs> like, I love how now it's become I've a thing that. that, 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 that I love how it's become a thing that we just laugh about this now. Like, it's not even a thing that like annoys me. I just find it funny. Like, it makes me laugh because of how stupid it is. And it's, um, it's got to that point where, like, it's better to laugh than cry. Pretty much, because if you can't laugh, yeah. it, what yeah. can you do? Yeah. Like, obviously, like, what's happened's happened, yeah. but um, I feel like as soon as this is all over, which I don't think it will be over for, like, a few more years now, like, totally over when, like, done, um, I feel like there should be, like, repercussions from it, and, like, people should be held responsible, I think. Yeah. Like, I'm not I saying people, want, yeah. people should, like, go go to jail and stuff but i feel like it should be a thing when like i don't know you know how like in, in, in when people are on trial there's like impact statements oh yeah that people read um i feel like boris should read impact statements from all the families and that have had people that have died from covid that were unnecessary oh, yeah. yeah like i feel yeah. like that that like not just boris like everyone else who was involved as well i feel like they should all hear them all of them I feel like they oh. should all hit. They should hear stuff, and they should hear these because I don't feel like they're hearing them. Because like, obviously, like yeah. people are saying these stories, but they're just like, oh, whatever. And I feel like they really need to be sat down. Yeah. And also, I feel I feel like it should be broadcast on TV. Like, I want to watch that, and I want like I oh, want to yeah. see if they have a. I want to yeah. see if they have a genuine reaction. And also, I feel like you know how usually when like yeah. they'll have they'll do all the impact statements. And then they will talk afterwards. I don't want them to read off a script. I want them to like say their own words in own time. No. I don't want them then to read off a script and be like, "I'm so sorry for the trouble I've caused and the lives that I've caused yeah. to 
pass on. I, I'm like, nah. I will yeah, say, like, I will say that that would be a little harder for the main reason being that when you go to interview somebody or when you go to record with somebody with a higher status, you have to at least one make sure they know what's going to be said or what's going to be covered. So, but yeah, if, but I I feel like that's a that's a problem if they're allowed to have a script. It's no, like not, why why. Should... It's not yeah. a script that they get. Don't worry. It's just them being oh, right, yeah. like what, what topic they're going to be covering because they're not allowed to go in it fully blind. But they can. Go, but they have to be able to go into it with like what are they going to be doing, but not as in knowing what's fully going on. Because oh yeah, you, yeah. Because again, I'm because I'm covering journalism. I got to do the laws around it and what can and can't be done at the moment. Yeah, I feel like like I'm like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna steal Boris and shove him into a room unexpectedly. Like he will have full warning about what's about to happen. Full warning to be shoved will... into a room. Yeah, he'll know what's happening like at least a week yeah, before, so he'll have warning. Yeah. But but I but I don't want him to be holding a piece of paper or like have a, a rehearsed statement. Yeah. Like that every time he goes on TV wow. and he does he does a public announcement, he's reading off a telecom, and like w like we all know he is, and um. Obviously, he has to to make it professional and stuff. But then it's just like, why? <laughs> I remember when he did the announcement at Halloween, yeah. and he was, re and then when he was really late, <laughs> me and my mates were oh, saying he should. Be oh, <laughs> they were saying we were saying the only reason he should be late if is if he turns up in Halloween makeup and all dressed up. Yes, please. You know, I think they were. I think they were arguing about who was going to go first. Like, yeah, I think they were. I think they were arguing about who's going to go first. I feel like they just didn't know what they were going to say. They're like, it's not working. It's not working. <laughs> Why is it not working? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, oh no. We do. But, uh... but yeah, I just feel like it was, um, I feel like that is a thing. Like, be because we are young, we can joke about it more because we, um, we just joke. But we, we are in that generation that jokes about everything. But I feel like the older generation, yeah. it's less of them. You know, I mean, it's, it is worse. It is bad, and I feel like it is. It is going to have like lasting impacts, which um, it's kind of mad to me how like if we have kids when we're older, they will not have experienced this, and um, that kind of just, like boggles my mind. It's kind of um, they'll be like, "Mummy, Daddy, did you ever experience some coronavirus?" No, like we don't talk about that. Don't mention that to me. Oh. Foul oh, thing. You want to talk about oh, bored, you kiddo? <laughs> You're bored? You don't Han know the meaning of bored. Hand me that corona, <laughs> corona beer. Come on, we'll tell you a story. <laughs> I, I, literally, I literally just had an injection no, of kidding. coronavirus and be like, get in there. <laughs> <laughs> if I infect them right now. No, like, Alright, here's, here's a quick tutorial. Not this is plaguing. Do not ever do this. Yeah, full warning. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, trying, I'm trying to not get sued. We we know it's serious. We just want to laugh, okay? Yeah, yeah. And that's with that. Like yeah. it, it kind of like it's it, it seems cry. like madness to me. But um, like if we have kids, they won't know about it. And like you think about all like the young yeah. young kids now when they're like one, two, and three. Like they're not going to remember it. Like I don't remember stuff that like no. I only remember stuff from when I was like five or six. Like they're not uh, going to remember any of this yeah. happening, which I think is mad, mad as well. Like, imagine you've lived through a pandemic when you're like little and you just don't remember it. So, like me. Yeah, like my cousin's had a baby. Had a baby today. Oh my god! Oh, congrats! <laughs> yeah, congrats, yeah. first of all. <laughs> congrats. Had a baby today. But, uh, uh, Mm. Uh oh. <laughs> Cats just joined me. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like that's yeah. the thing. Like, um, what the good, the only good thing I think the um, the government has done now is is allowed them. You know, when um mothers go for their scans, they're allowed to have um their partners with them or whoever they want to have with them. Yeah. Which I feel like is a good thing that they yeah. they. they they added in but um, and i feel like um, that's been like a baby step though i feel like it was kind of stupid how you were allowed to eat out to help out before you were allowed to have your partner to come to a baby scan with you mm. like that yeah. kind of shocks me that was a bit of a like why 
I know. I know. It's just lapses in judgment, I think, in areas. But it oh, is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I think it's also bad for people our age when we're in the age when people will be going out like, we're going to uni, we're meeting new people, like we're meant to be experienced in life and we're not. Like, no. I like, <laughs> we're, we're, we, we are 18, 19. I'm like, I don't know anything. <laughs> like, everyone's like, you're at the prime age. I'm like, I'm not really. You just make that into a groom meme. It's like, yeah. you go off to uni, you make new friends, you stay inside forever. You stay inside forever? <laughs> yes. No, wait, 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 like, that's, that's the uni. Yeah, it, it, can, it kind of is the issue of, like, I feel like, literally, the only two parties I've been to, like, going out parties, is your birthday, Cameron, and mine. <laughs> They're the only two! <laughs> yeah. Which I think says a lot. Like, like, what do you think about it? Like, like if, if coronavirus would have happened, the amount of 18th birthday parties we would have went to, like, it would have been great. Oh, I know. But no! Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, nah, like, we didn't... Yeah. Like, you think about all of, like, our other mates we would have went to, but we just couldn't. Like, not just 18th birthday parties. Obviously, we have friends that are older than us, and they would have had other parties. Yeah. We've missed out on so much, I think, and it's a bit of um. Obviously, like, there is people who missed out on their, their, their 18th birthday parties, which just does suck. But we did good with ours. We did, we did good. Yeah, all, all of us, all of us, all of our birthdays missed the, um, the barrier. Oh, yeah. My, 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 mine was incredibly close. <laughs> Yeah. It was like a month. Yeah. But it was alright. I feel like um, yeah. it was it was one of those things I'm like, oh see, Cameron, your birthday party was very good. But if you think about like when 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 it was, was your birthday party, that was when coronavirus was starting to like creep up a lot. The UK. Yeah, and I feel like even then we, like we, we we were kind of unaware of it. Like we were aware of it, but we didn't think it was gonna, gonna be like yeah. become a problem. What's gonna happen? Yeah, and then like at the end of February, we're like, oh no, no, remember, oh god, remember oh. the week before we this ended up leaving? Happen. Yeah, remember the week we ended up leaving? Yeah. It was just like oh. Monday, Tuesday. We were joking about it. It's like, oh, they're not going to shut schools. It's going to be like snow. The Wednesday, we see it on the news, just saying, yeah, we're going to be closing everything on Friday. Exams cancelled. Like <laughs> oh, I me- I remember when exams were cancelled. Yeah, oh, I've, 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 I I was in the shower. I came out. I had twenty eight messages off people telling me exams were cancelled. My phone was blowing up. And I, I, I thought like, 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 like I thought everyone was lying. Like I thought they were pulling my leg. And then I like I researched it. WJC nope. has released that exams are cancelled. I was like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Like, I was so shocked. It was like, what on earth? It was just... I was like... I think it was so weird because, like, I remember, like, I I, I started revising for my exams, like, in, like, November. I wanted to, like, oh, prepare yeah. ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, like, I remember... Like, I remember I was just kind of like, I was like, what am I supposed to do now? I was like, I've spent, like, the last four months yeah. trying to memorise all this content, and now, like, what's the point? Yeah, you spent the last four months avoiding us, and then suddenly <laughs> pandemic ends up coming up, and you have to avoid everybody. See, Roxanne, you had the best idea. <laughs> you had the best idea. I did not. You had foresight. I did not. You did a big brain. <laughs> I was dumb. I stood but, um... with people. I feel like, like that was that's the only like that like that 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 kind of annoyed me because I I thought of all the hours I'd wasted revising and I mean like well, what was the point of it and then obviously came results day when they yeah. did us all and then yeah. they un oh. us all. Oh, God. <laughs> hey. That was such a yeah. that was mad. Great day. That that, yeah. that was a mad day. Like the day before, you will minimum get your AS grades. Day after, look how you've all been. <laughs> day after that you're now yeah. getting the predictive grades i'm like can you make up your mind son please yeah like, please. then then they had the whole Most thing with like going. with like the the btex and then gcse's like it was so much drama it was madness like 
that was something else. Nah. That was like the most mad. Like that was more mad than like GCSE results day. Like GCSE results day was nothing compared to that. <laughs> Like, nah. That makes me think of the uh, rumour that usually went round like, oh, mm. if somebody dies in the exam, you all get your predicted grades. We didn't even take an exam. Other people died for us to not do that, which is just a weird thought. I I love you know what I love? Oh god. As soon as they announced we were getting our predicted grades, we all were pissed. <laughs> Like we all became pissed we off. We were. Oh, I, I yeah. remember sitting there and be like, be like, oh no. But I mean, we've been like, I'm pissed off, but this is what I f- asked for, for like, the last four years of my education. <laughs> yeah. I have but no consistency, I, guys. I remember, you guys thinking, I remember you guys were just saying, oh, God, we're screwed. I oh, yeah, that we day. still were. Like, okay, these guys are panicking. Oh, <laughs> it, was, it, it was an awful day. It but then bad. It all worked out. Yeah. But then we were like, I was like... <laughs> Because I remember I've, that I've had my certificates off College Cambria. But I just don't feel like I've, I've earned them. You know what I mean? It's just kind of just a... Yeah. It's so cool. Like, it's just like, I haven't earned this. Like, it's like a participation prize. Yeah, it just feels like, well done for turning up for a few months and not remembering any of the content. And I'm like, thanks. I remember nothing. Because I'm dumb. <laughs> Right, is there anything else we want to talk about tonight? Coronavirus! <laughs> I, can't, I can't say it like a noise. <laughs> Quite <wrong. laughs> you know? Wait, wait, if, if you don't dub over my voice with the actual quote, like, I will be pissed. Send me the quote after find... this. Okay. Right, okay, right, right, I'll send it to you, and I want you to dub over my voice with it, going, Coronavirus! <laughs> I mean, I've got to censor out one of the words you've said anyway. What word? No, there's an F. Did I? Yes, you said. Yeah. I tried not to actually. Only one. One. Only one. I'm quite proud of myself because you you two know how much I swear. Yeah. I tried. Yeah. I'm leaving this bit in, by the way. I'm just gonna censor out the (laughs) word. I'm sure you're gonna have to censor out did as well. That, That that that's that's not a good word. No, I'm keeping that in because you've said it like three times now. Yeah. Give it. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a good one. Fine, fine. I'll look through it. <laughs> we, we don't want to get. We don't want. We don't want to get Cameron. We don't want to get Cameron demonetized. We ain't monetized to begin with. We've yeah, already well, had this. Yeah, I'm not even monetized. <laughs> <laughs> we don't talk about this. He is a monetized channel. He's earning millions. I, I expect my cut of this. I expect getting paid. I expect paid. a third. I expect to have a third. A third? You're getting paid? Yes. It's like that meme. You're getting paid? Wait, you guys want to get paid? Wait, you guys get paid? <laughs> Where's my cut? So, I'm poor, guys. Okay, so You're poor. You have a job. Yeah. So, anything else you want to talk about? Or... Or is this all? I, I feel like we've, we, we've got past coronavirus. <laughs> we've almost been going for an hour. Yeah, right. I think this is a good time to wrap up. Yeah. Oh, right. That'll wrap up this video then, guys. As always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my and Roxanne's channel, links are in the description, uh, comment, because why not, and give your thoughts on the coronavirus, the whole lockdown too. Why not? Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, <laughs> Links in the description with the YouTube and Rockham blog and Twitter. Anything you want to promote, Abigail? I was going to say my Wattpad, but it's rubbish. So no, then... we'll put that Wattpad in there. We'll Twitter! That Twitter! My, 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 my Twitter. I'm actually tr- trying to be good on there. So we'll have my Twitter on there, guys. Okay. I'll link <laughs> your Twitter down there in the description. And Yay. don't forget to share this video with all your friends. Thank you for joining week of liking. Subscribing, commenting, following, sharing, and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Want to say goodbye, guys? Bonnie. Bye.